Hey everybody, today is Wednesday, November 16th, 2022, and today is a very important national holiday. If you're not aware, November 16th is National Fast Food Day. And I am a big fan of fast food. I eat fast food all the time. I am constantly eating fast food, which would explain the stomach and the chubby face, but I just love me a good burger or something like that. However, today we're not going to get a burger. Instead, we're gonna do something I have never actually done before because after doing a little bit of research, it turns out that, um, that, that Pennsylvania's favorite fast food chain is one I have never actually eaten at before, and that is Chick-fil-A, or as I call it, Chick-fil-A. I have never eaten at a Chick-fil-A before. I know, jaws dropping to the floor right now, right? How could I have never eaten at a Chick-fil-A restaurant before? Well, I'm not the biggest fan of, of chicken sandwiches. Not really my thing, not really my go-to. I don't really enjoy them all that much. Also, I'm kind of a, a picky eater, so when it comes to my, my chicken to breading ratio, I like a good like, even ratio. I've seen the chicken at Chick-fil-A, the, the breaded chicken at Chick-fil-A. It doesn't have a really good ratio. Really thick chicken with a little bit of breading. Not really my cup of tea. Not the kind of thing I like. So as such, I've never actually eaten at a Chick-fil-A. I've just never wanted to. I'm also not the biggest fan of the company's personal beliefs either. So I've never really wanted to support them on top of not really enjoying this type of food. So that is why I've never actually eaten at a Chick-fil-A before. The only thing I've ever actually had from a Chick-fil-A, I've tried their lemonade. My wife eats here sometimes. I've had her lemonade. Pretty good lemonade. I'm probably going to get some of that today. They also have those waffle fries. I've tried some of my, my, some of my wife's waffle fries before. They were pretty good. I'm probably also going to get that. And I did actually do a little bit of research, looked online at their menu, and I think I actually found something on their menu I'm going to enjoy, or at least somewhat, hopefully, maybe possibly enjoy. So we're going to get out of the cold right now because it's actually freezing out here. I'm sure you can tell by the wind. I'm sure the wind is ruining this video, but it's, it's very cold outside right now. Very blustery, cold November day. So we're going to go inside. We're going to order some food, come back out to the car, and I'm going to try my first ever real Chick-fil-A like order before right? my, my first ever my first time ever really eating at chick-fil-a so i'm kind of excited about this to see what exactly it is that's so popular about chick-fil-a we're gonna we're gonna find out it's my first time ever inside a chick-fil-a i've never never been inside here or any chick-fil-a ever before hello how's it going good um so all right i'm just my first time ever eating at a chick-fil-a i know right <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna go with the um, eight piece grilled nuggets. I guess I guess the meal. Uh, lemonade. And uh, does this come with fries? Wa uh, waffle fries? Yeah, okay, awesome. Would you like any sauce? No, I'm good. <laughs> the Chick fil A, you have Chick fil A sauce? Oh, I'll, 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 I'll try the special Chick fil A sauce. All right, sure. So, dine in or carry out? It'll be carry out. Carry out? And they have an answer? David? Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I've ordered my, my grilled chicken nuggets. Looking forward to this. They actually look pretty good. I do like grilled chicken, so that's interesting. Also, they, they're, they're telling me I should try their special Chick-fil-A sauce for the, for the fries. I'm not usually, thank you. I'm not usually a big sauce fan, but whatever. When, when, in, when in Rome, right? When in, when in Chick-fil-A, right? Try their try their sauce. I'm, ex I'm excited about this. My first time ever eating at a Chick-fil-A on National Fast Food Day. I'm preparing my order right now. I think it's actually pretty much all, almost ready. Look at this. It's already already ready. That was so that was so fast. I love it. I don't know if you guys know it's National Fast Food Day. Yeah, it's today. Oh, you're not. I'm sorry. You're not fast food. You're quick service food. I I like that. I like that. So thank you. All right. So first time ordering Chick Fil A from a quick service restaurant. Not a fat. Not a fast food restaurant. They want to be above that. So all right. I'm again. I'm excited for this. This, this should be. This should be good. Grilled chicken. I do actually like grilled chicken. Also, I, why do they call themselves the original chicken sandwich? Are they trying to say that there were no chicken sandwiches ever before Chick-fil-A? Because I'm, I'm finding that hard to believe. I'm thinking the chicken sandwich did not originate at Chick-fil-A. Maybe it did though. Leave comments down below. Is that like the history of Chick-fil-A? Is this the first ever chicken sandwich restaurant or something? I have no idea. So that was really fast. I honestly did not expect 
to go in there and get my food so quickly. They just, they had it already, ow, all ready to go. That right, food is, is falling over. So, all right, let's try my first ever time eating at Chick-fil-A. They were also super friendly in there as well. I don't know if you guys remember when I went to uh, McDonald's to get the, get the boo buckets, they were like, what are you doing? Why are you filming? What's going on? They were just like, hey, how's it going? So, all right, I'm pumped. So what should I try first? I'm guessing, I guess I'll just try the chicken first. So we got, ooh, look at the, oh my gosh, those, those actually look really good. All right, here is their chicken. Comes in a little, little container, looks like a little coleslaw, coleslaw container. Ooh, there's the chicken. It smells good. I'll give them that. Looks a little, little wet and, and juicy. I don't know. Maybe you guys are into juicy, slimy chicken. I, um, I like my chicken a little bit more, not, I won't say dry, but like on the drier side, we'll say. I don't want my chicken to be, you know, like bone dry or anything like that, but I don't like it all soggy and wet either. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm going to open up my, um, Chick-fil-A sauce. So Ooh, Chick-fil-A sauce. What is this, like mayonnaise or something? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try it. We'll see, I don't, I'm not a sauce guy. Except for cocktail sauce, I love cocktail sauce. Ooh, I'm not, I'm not gonna enjoy that. <laughs> but I love cocktail sauce, but um, that's about it when it comes to sauce. Sometimes ketchup, so all right. First time ever eating Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A chicken. We're gonna see how this tastes. I got, again, I, got, I want the grilled chicken, because I actually like grilled chicken. It smells really good. Also, what do you guys think? Those grill marks, real or like fake? I know, I know, on like the um, the McDonald's uh, McRib sandwich, those like grill marks are not real. They're they're just put there. So I'm thinking, I don't know, probably real, right? They look pretty real. All right, let's try this. I'm I'm, I'm salivating already. It smells so good. Hmm. All right. That's not bad. I would not say that's my, my favorite grilled chicken I've ever had, though. <laughs> like I said, I do like grilled chicken. I do eat grilled chicken. This is not, this is not the best. This tastes like fast. This is what I expect fast food chicken, the fast food grilled chicken to taste like, honestly. But it's okay, though. It's not bad. It is not bad. Let's try the lemonade. Yeah. That's actually a really good lemonade. <laughs> Again, I've tried their lemonade before because my wife gets it all the time. So I've had their lemonade before and I remember it being really good. And yeah, that's actually pretty good lemonade. I will give them that. But all right, so chicken, grilled chicken, it was okay. It's not bad. I will eat this. I will finish this. I, I, I didn't not like it. This was pretty good. It's just, it's exactly what I expected. Fast food, <laughs> I'm sorry, quick service, whatever. Um, grilled chicken that tastes like it just it's 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 average just mediocre right? oh my gosh all right look at these french fries okay those are good french fries are good but all right let's try let's try this chick-fil-a sauce they recommended it they said i had to get this they said do i want any sauce i said no thank you they're like really try the chick-fil-a sauce and the other, other girl behind the counter was like yeah it's really good so all right let's see i i, I can already tell i'm not gonna like this Mm, no. Oh, that's really vinegary. There's a lot of vinegar. How much vinegar is in this? It's one of the, it's one of the top, <laughs> the top of things. <laughs> oh, I can taste the barbecue sauce. Yeah. Soybean oil, sugar, barbecue sauce, tomato paste, corn syrup, vinegar, natural hickory. Yeah. Mm, all right. No, not my thing. It does have definitely a barbecue sauce taste to it. I'm not a barbecue sauce fan. So I'd have to say No to the Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm not a fan. What Chick-fil-A, if you're watching, you should you should definitely carry cocktail sauce. Carry cocktail sauce and these little packets. If you carry cocktail sauce in these packets, I will start eating at your restaurants. I probably won't be eating here because I'm not a huge fan of, again, chicken sandwiches. Your grilled chicken is just kind of, it's kind of mediocre. It's, it's only okay. I'd rather get like chicken nuggets or some, or chicken, uh, um, uh, yeah, what's we're looking for? McNuggets from uh, McDonald's or, or like maybe some chicken nuggets from Wendy's or something like that or or um, um, chicken fries from, from Burger King. Those are kind of my favorites. Uh, but if you start carrying cocktail sauce here, I'll eat here at least once a week. How's that sound? Is it a deal? Shake on that. So, all right, Chick-fil-A. Get cocktail sauce and I'll eat here once a week and I'll dip my 
my fries and the cocktail sauce. It'll be delicious. So, all right, guys, there you go. My first time ever eating at a Chick-fil-A on National, National Fast Food Day or National Quick Service Restaurant Day. Okay, chicken. <laughs> I'm just going to say okay. It's not, it's not the best. That would not be my go-to when it comes to grilled chicken. I'd probably actually go to my local grocery store. My local grocery store actually does like real roasted chicken. You just go and buy roasted chicken. It's amazing. It's delicious. I'd probably just buy like a legit non-fast food, non-quick service roasted chicken. But still, it's not bad. It's not bad. So, all right, guys, with that, we are done. So I hope you guys uh, went out, had some fast food today on National Fast Food Day. Uh, hopefully, I don't know, where, where did you guys go? Where did you guys go and get fast food today? If you went and got fast food, what is your favorite fast food chain? Leave a comment down below, the, your, your go-to. If I, if I said right now, we're getting fast food, where do you wanna go? What would you choose? Where would you go? Where would you pick for your favorite fast food restaurants? And if you guys do know also, uh, what is your state's favorite fast food restaurant? Again, according to polls and uh, what I read, Chick-fil-A is Pennsylvania's favorite fast food restaurant, supposedly. And um, I don't get it. But anyway, guys, so that's it. I, I, didn't, I didn't dislike it. It's just I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a Chick-fil-A fan. So anyway, guys, uh, although the lemonade, the lemonade and their fries are pretty good. I'll give them that. So anyway, guys, with that, like I said, we are done. So as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts. Proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do go to help putting gas in Vanabelle or in Pumpkin. So we can come out to interesting places like Chick-fil-A where I can try my first ever Chick-fil-A chicken with you guys weird day. So anyway, guys, like I said, check down below all the links, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys do subscribe or you are subscribed, I will see you in tomorrow's video. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my chicken before it gets cold. All right. Let me know again, guys. Let me know. Where did you eat fast food today? I want to know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.